today on the North American Journeyman. We finished up our opening stage the last three games. We won all three. So that's earned us a bye. So we're straight into the semifinals today. However, a certain dream job in Costa Rica has just become available. So we're going in for it. So here's Club Deportivo Saprissa. You can see they finished pretty poorly in the opening stage. They ended up seventh in their league. And they're playing in the Central American Cup, third place game. Uh, this is the job we've been looking at. It's a dream job. I mean, they're worth so much. Excuse me, this is us. We can look at Saprissa profile here. I mean, they're worth. 12.63 million, or they're valued at 23 million. They have 12.6 million in the bank. They just finished seventh. Really bad finish. Um, but they haven't fired their manager. That's not the job that's available. The job that is available is Alohuelense, who is probably the second best team in the league. Second most reputable. Look at those training facilities. Excellent youth facilities. Superb. Need a little more scouting on the recruitment. Valued at 5.68 million. Their balance is negative currently, but that's probably fixable, I would think. Their salary is a little bit lower. And it looks like they're over their salary a little bit. They actually finished sixth, so they finished a spot above. And I think that'd be a really good place to go to. I would love to try and make that move. That job is available. And we're going to go in for it because, and this is very unlikely, but their next games are the Central American Cup final first and second legs. So they play in four days against Herediano, who's another Costa Rican side. And I haven't said anything about the, me wanting to take the job. But I think we're going to just go in for it and just hope, who knows, maybe right before, the day before the second leg of the final, we'll jump into the job, win that, and then boom, second objective of the save is complete. I highly doubt that'll happen, but we're still going to try. Usually the jobs take a little bit longer for them to, you know, give you the interview and... And then, you know, say whether or not you're a wanted candidate. Like, they want this guy. He's the head coach of San Carlos. He's not good at all. His reputation probably isn't much higher than mine. It says that he's wanted. But they're playing in the semifinals right now of their league. So we've got a few days until our playoff game. We don't even know who we're playing yet. So I thought I'd just take you through this little staff experiment. I doubt anything's going to happen. But I'll show you, like, it literally just happened. I just saw the news article. This guy was fired, and they're searching for a head coach. Our Guaydas is coy, so they've already asked him, hey, you want this job? And he was like, well, well, you know. But that means we jump right in, apply, and declare interest. We might piss off our club. They've got a temporary guy in charge, and they want to give him the opportunity to prove that he deserves the job. So we're probably not going to get the job before the contest, but no, I'm not considered to have any chance of getting the job. There's a lot of speculation. I'll just say it's enticing. I'm enticed. I'm very enticed. Has it changed us to be favorites? Of course not. Five to four odds. I gotta be honest. I don't like... I'm not a betting man. Oh, this guy's coming to us on loan. Nice little youngster. 
train him as a kind of probably inverted winger because he can't finish and he can't cross. So concentration is a little bit terrible. But I don't, I don't know, five to four odds, I think that's good for them, for that guy. So, all right, the board wants me to stay. They could comfortably settle it to get their head coach. There's just speculation at this point. Now we wait for the fans laugh off interest email. Uh, intermediary suggestion. We're always getting stuff like this. Lots of Americans. Oh yeah, this job, I applied for this back way before I even applied for Real Sociedad, and they still haven't filled the coaching position. And it said I still was applied for the job. I couldn't find a way to cancel it, so. Martinez can play killer through balls. That's cool, because he's not really a great passer. But he's, he's getting a lot better. We might... If we go to Costa Rica... Okay. Fans laugh off interest. Okay. It's fine. But if we were to go to Costa Rica, he's one that I would definitely want to take with. I mean, maybe an interview? Not even an interview? Saprisa's is still hanging on. Cartagena is another potential job. I mean, they're secure financially. They've got five million in the bank. They're actually valued much higher. They're a bit of a like fallen giant, I think, kind of in Costa Rica. So we play the winner of Victorian Marathon. Uh, Sambula, I think he's kind of a backup left back type player for the national team. You're in my thoughts. Get fit first, then we'll talk. I don't really know. World Cup is obviously in six months or so. Oh, I do need to show you one thing with the national team. Because we did, we won. Well, we drew Puerto Rico because our defense is so poor. We were up 2-0, then it was 2-1, then 3-1, and then they... I guess it was 2-all, and then we scored another one. And then they came back, and then beat St. Vincent. So we qualified. Guyana made the playoffs. And look who didn't make the playoffs. Jamaica. Excuse me. Jamaica and us were dominant. Everything else was pretty even. Costa Rica didn't even make the playoffs. So they didn't qualify for the World Cup. Curacao. You can see they play in the playoffs. Semi-final against Caledonia. And the winner will play Chile. So likely not making it. And then Guyana has to play Angola. So likely not making it. Winner plays Uzbekistan. But if I did want to make a little national team switch, this is probably a good thing that Costa Rica has not yet fired their manager. Because I would go take that job. Ideally, like right after we attempt our World Cup run. And that's hopefully, hopefully how it works. Keep an eye on this. So anyways, lots of, lots of movement going on, in my head at least. I don't know if anything is actually going to happen. Compost. Compost is listed. He's on my short list, but he's honestly not very good. And we don't have any room for Costa Ricans. Our backup goalkeeper gets injured. All right, let's find out who we play. It's either Platensi or Montagua. Oh, it looks like we're going to play Platensi, actually. I thought it was between these two. It's definitely Platensi, which is probably good. They've performed better, but Montagua is supposed to be the better team. And we're away in the first leg. It's on the third, just in a couple days. Let's just get our training up. I don't really want to do physical. We can do some match tactics. And we'll give ourselves... No, no, we've been resting. Change this up, though. Recovery. Rest. Wow, two days in between? Really? Um, what do we 
we normally do now? Set piece routines, I think, is what we like to do now. But those seem to be much more important in this iteration of Football Manager. Just because they changed it. Alright, some players playing. Alright, it looks like we're not getting the job. Youngster I'm keeping an eye on. Honduran. For Real España. Chivas picks up a coach. Oh, our bank balance is down quite a bit because I decided to spend some of it. Because I've brought in some staff, so we're losing a little bit more money because I like to spend money on staff. I like the best staff I can possibly get. Best staff, best players, the rest takes care of itself. That's my strategy. But we convinced them to um, do training facilities, build up training facilities. Because we're below average. So it was about, I think, 800000 something like that. Let's just look and see what players have been rocking and rolling internationally. Mo Salah's got the best rating. Erling Holland scoring goals. I get to vote for this, I guess, because, sure, Mo Salah. The um, best players in the world showed up. And it was Phil Foden was listed as the best player in the world. He's got 22 goals, 14 assists. Sure, that's fair. <coughs> Excuse me, that's fair for him. I mean, I don't. Phil Foden is good. And Man City's good, but I don't know if Phil Foden's the best player in the world. Maybe in 2025. Aspiring contracts, yeah, we'll worry about this stuff after this game. I'm not too concerned about it. Yeah, look at Honduras, Honduras. Sure, we're scouting all of Central America, so we might as we might as well have a look at those things. My mind is so in Costa Rica, it's hard to focus. Sure, get a good staff, you listen to what they have to say. Alright, so we're not getting the job. Jorge Alvarez, a center midfielder. He's just a, just on the fringes. He'll probably make the team. He's not that good. He'll make the World Cup squad. All right, our boys should be pretty well rested, though. No word on the job front. Odds are still the same. Nobody else. Montaguas and Olympia, they've both been insecure for a while now. Obviously, there's the MLS jobs in Mexico, but not until we win the Champions Cup with a team from most likely Central America. Maybe we could do it here. Who knows? All right, we'll go. We'll go strong. Make sure we get through this tie. <coughs> Excuse me. Grab a sip of water here. All right, so Henry Mar Romero has not been good this season. Chiotti scored a first-half hat-trick on one of our games. You can see it right here. So he's going to start. But let's get the main boys in. Flores. Adolfo, where you at? Adolfo Martinez. Iancu. Lacayu's actually been picking up his abilities lately. Zuniga's had the better year, but Lacayo's on a bit of a tear. So we'll leave him in. We've been resting Acosta, who hasn't played great, considering he's supposed to be our best player. So I've just been talking. We haven't played any games. So I apologize. This is going to be a pretty long episode. But this is the exciting stuff. Are we going to get the job? Are we not going to get the job? Who knows? So Racha can drop back in. Reyes can move up. Definitely going Devron Garcia and Maradiaga. I'd like to get them a partnership, ideally before the World Cup, because those may be my two starters. That is our strongest team currently, I believe. Sorry for the chit-chat. I'll try and cut out some parts, maybe. Let's go play some playoff football. 
chance for another piece of silverware here. This guy's good. He's a national team player. Martinez, he's always unfit, though, every time I have a national team game, so I've only been able to bring him on the pitch, like, one time. He's kind of like a backup winger. Here we go. Early goal. And it is with the man, Davey Flores, the Mazala. He's started out a little slow. Now he's fully on board. He loves the Royal Society. We're up 1-0. If Marathon could go ahead and upset Real Espana, I wouldn't be too upset because Real Espana's only lost one game all season. No, they did lose two. They lost one late. And we were the team to beat them, but they're the pretty much the only team. Chiati, the late runner from the top of the box, striker. He's real tall. I'd prefer him to be like more this area. But if he's going to score goals coming from the edge of the area. Yeah, he's back out here for some reason. Kind of strange, but that's a nice pass from Garcia. Platenzi. Ain't got nothing. I think they actually are the other team that beat us to give us our second loss. Or do we have a second loss? Either we lost or drew one late. I think maybe it was just a draw. It was actually on the last episode, so you should probably know more than I do. Yonku can't get to it. Kiati header down. Vargas hits one, and their goalkeeper looks straight lost. 3-0. 16 minutes. Vargas. I mean. Just cruising. We are cruising. I'm actually going to look and see real quick who their goalkeeper is. Oh, he's, yeah, he's a fringe national team goalkeeper. Thought I recognized it, but with the name Lopez, it could be any number of national team players. Okay, Marathon's up 2-0. We've handled them okay this season, too, so... And Real Espani has an injury. A little piece of silverware. Put the ball in the box. Yeah, I'll change that at halftime. We usually like to do that. We could just grab a fourth here. That's Vargas header. No, it's not, but Martinez should get there, but doesn't. Douglas beats him to it. They're flooding numbers forward on the counterattack. We're outnumbered here. They just need the pass. All right, we stop the initial attack. And now Vargas grabs it. Chiari should win this header, but he doesn't. And now the pass is going to come in. Ortiz, the tackle isn't quite there, but the shot goes wide. It's like Sanchez got a touch on it, apparently. Turns it wide. And we maintain the shutout for now. Back post header, it's terrible. It looks like Lakayo's not doing too great. Good interception there. Tackle from Acosta, Vargas. Nice little pass. Runs through to Flores. He loses it. The pass is there on the right to Lacayo. What can he do? Takes the shot himself. Chiati had a nice idea making that run, but Lacayo was too selfish. But we look pretty good. I'll take 3 0 first half any day. Um, don't get complacent. He lacks belief. I'll just talk to him individually. You're playing well, keep it up. There we go. All green. All green, keep it up. Yeah, we don't have the possession. I'll give that up for a 3-0 lead. XG, honestly, isn't that high. But everybody's playing real good, except for Lakayo. Okay, we haven't created anything in the second half. Bring in Zuniga. 
make out Nunez. Right back position has been an issue. Make me proud. It's definitely been our weakest position of the season. This is the away leg too, so we don't really need to go for another one. Close it out. Close it out. All right, wing back, support, bring you back just a little bit. Now the game is coming up, so resting some players is probably a good idea. Getting Romero fit again probably might be smart too. Do that for now. I've got two more subs I want to make. We'll just kind of slow roll them in. Work this clock out of the game a little bit. Last 80 minutes. We're going to just change some things up just a little bit. Just going to do that. We can play out of the back a little bit more. Still like the closing down. Maybe just a skosh less. And I want to see Rocha come in for Martinez. Then I'll bring Romero in for like the last, oh, 10 minutes or so. That's going to do right there. Yeah, I'll make a little impact. We'll, we'll chuck out a little praise. Good game, boys. Whatever happens now, even if they grab one, which wouldn't be good. Real Espani gets a red card. Close it out. I mean, they created a little bit in the second half. We didn't create anything. But it finishes 3-0. Probably good because I talked so much before the game. That this wasn't just end end highlights. Let's let's hit them up again. Let's do the same thing. All right, praise, nice job, sweet. All right, well, it's only a couple days. So if anything happens, I'll we'll talk to you. Or I'll probably just keep you here. Wait, training. Why are we doing mat? Yeah, match focus is right. That's right. That's right. Intermediary. Center back from Forge. Yeah, we can praise some guys. Keep up the goodness. Business end. It's weird saying that when it's actually only halfway through the season, but... All right, it's still the same odds. And they already played the first leg. A uh, four to four. So it doesn't look like that game is on the 4th of, wait, I'm sorry, is it today? Is that game today? 12-4. Oh yeah, they already played. It is. So we're not going to win the cup. Well, I mean, you have to be in the job to win the cup. So anyways, we tried. Let's see, if they win it, they probably keep their manager, would be my guess. Alahua Lindsay wins. So they win the Central American Cup. So they're probably not going to fire their manager anytime soon. They beat Arrediano. We'll keep an eye on it. And then we'll keep an eye on the Saprisa job and Cartagena's. Although I don't think Saprissa is even in the Central American Cup next year because they've done so poor this season. Everybody's, my boys are crushing it. Look how good they're getting. He's got a ways to go still. He's 21. Martinez, he's he's really coming along. He's only 20. His technicals get better. He's a physical beast. Just the kind of player you want in the midfield. All right, both the favorites are home. We're up 3-0. Real Espana losing 2-0. Debbie Flores is a little tired. 
Maybe I don't want to lose Vargas on a yellow. Reyes didn't really play in the last game. He needs to be, get more fit, so maybe we bring on Romero for Kiotti. Now, strikers usually handle the fitness runs okay. I think we just stick with it. Maybe Rodas. Rodas is pretty good. We'll just give Garf C a little rest. Hey, they got a partnership. You love to see it. Kayo. Yeah, 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 I'm happy with this. Need to rest Flores, though. That's probably the main thing. All right, let's get through this tie. Carry on the same performance. That's all I need to say. Tackle everybody hard. That's what we do all year. Luckily, it hasn't led to many injuries. And not too many suspensions, surprisingly. Very surprisingly. All right, they're coming at us a little bit early. We got the possession, though. We're right back at them. Good stuff. Seventy-one percent possession. Win this, make the final, qualify for the Central American Cup, and I'm happy. Marathon's up three nothing aggregate on Real España. We're creating, but it's not real. I like that idea of we're going to go positive and work the ball in the box. We can make this happen. Just need to close it out, though. I take Flores off at halftime, actually. Move Martinez over. He can play the Mez. I mean, yeah, they've got nothing. They've got nothing, boys. I just wish I had better performances from Acosta. All right, you've done beautifully so far, and I'll see it through. Maybe it's because I'm playing him as a complete wingback, and the pitch is so narrow. Most of the pitches are so narrow. I'll take Flores off. Racha. Real Espana pulls one back. They are at home. All right, let's close this one out. Chiotti with the header. Ooh, doesn't quite cross the line. Good effort, though. Martinez should have turned the other way. Attacking free kick, will we see it? Yes, we will. Will it score? Yonku scored these before. Ooh, the deflection almost took it in. Good effort. We're cruising. We got this. I don't know. Maybe we should finish a full season with Real Sociedad. Maybe I'm just coping. I don't even think we're going to get a job in Costa Rica. Maybe. Ooh, we has got to do better with that. One of the problems is that my reputation is probably pretty high, but it would be higher if I could get a coaching badge. So that one's in the works. We probably should be finishing our national C license any day now, like within a week, a couple weeks' time, maybe. Ortiz, Mario's made a nice run inside. Ooh. Pick either side of the keeper. He tries to go left and misses wildly. Reyes isn't happy. Everybody's complacent. Players on the bench are complacent. I don't want Vargas to pick up a yellow, so we're going to go Romero. Get him fit. Bernardo's for Acosta. That should do for now. We'll go back to balanced. We'll actually get rid of all this. 
Maria, they're in the box right now trying to work one. Ball over the top, header away from Nunez, Lacayo, nice, Iancu, plays it forward. Romero doesn't really have much help here. Good hold-up play from him, though. Doesn't turn into anything. Okay. Well, good thing we didn't see a ton of highlights because I talked so much in the beginning. It's not a super long episode, but I think we're getting through this tie. As I say that, long throw highlight, just over the bar. Had a little more time than what he was trying to pull off there, but it was a good effort. Rocha plays it through Lacayo. Cross to no one in particular. Iancu takes a shot. Surprised he hasn't scored a goal yet. But we're going to rest him. He's honestly not playing that good. This guy just doesn't really do it for me. We have somebody else coming in. In the midseason break. Mardiaga's not playing good either. Bring in Figueroa. And we'll start wasting time. Right around here. Oh, we're already wasting time. We can get rid of that. We can start doing this. Forget about that. Pull it back just a little bit. Not a lot going on in the second leg, but we shut them down. We had a couple little opportunities. They weren't able to make anything pay. Late praise. Nice job. He got through the tie. Cool. And it looks like we're playing a marathon in the final, two-legged. That will be the next episode. Congratulations, you're all in the final. It's beautiful to see. They ended up, they ended up winning the second leg, 4-1. Beautiful job. We play marathon. I'm enjoying a good start. That's right. You know what? This is surprising to me that this is only a B, though. I mean, our goal is to finish mid-table, and they're only pleased? We're in the final. Take one last look. No changes on that front. So, it is in... Oh, we have over a week. 11 days to prepare, and then two days in between. Against Marathon. And we'll see. We did lose. Oh, it was to the oh, it was to Platenzi. Yeah, it was to Platenzi. But anyways, that's it for today's episode. Thanks for listening to me talk about a job that we probably won't get for so long. If anything happens, I'll come back and let you know. But the next episode will be the final in Honduras. We're cruising right along, crushing things. Please hit like, subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks again for watching. Adios, muchachos. <laughs>